जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जन बल गिरी भर धारी गोपी जन बल गिरी भर धारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जन बल गिरी बरधारी जय गोपी जन बल गिरी बरधारी यशोदनांदना ब्रज जन रंजन यशोदनांदना ब्रज जन रंजन यशोदनांदना ब्रज जन रंजन यमुना तीर बल चारी यमुना तेरा बल चारी दय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी गोपी जल बल गिरी बरधारी यशोदनंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यशोदनंदन ब्रज जन रंजन यमुन तेरा मन चारी यमुन तेरा मन चारी जय राधा माधव रद माधव श्री राधे जय राधा श्याम सुंदर राध श्याम सुंदर श्री राधे
Jaya Radha Gopinata Radha Gopinata Shri Radhe Jaya Radha Patasati Radha Patasati Shri Radhe Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Jai Nichalila Pabistang Bisupad Pramsa Paribraj Gatari Asto Tarasa Chi Sivan Is the Vine Grace Sila Bai Charanar Bin the Bhakti Vidanta Swami Maharaj Sila Prabhupada Ki Jai Jai Nichalila Pabistang Bisupad Pramsa Paribraj Gatari Asto Tarasa Chi Sivan Is the Vine Grace Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saras Batita Kurga Swami Maharaj Sila Prabhupada Ki Jai Ananta Gauri Vaishnava in the Ki Jai Jai Sirup Si Sanatan Bhattaraguna Si Jiva Gopal Bhatta Dasaraguna Sad Goswami Svabhu Ki Jai Namachare Sila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Premi Sika Ho Si Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Si Advaita Gadadhar Si Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Binda Ki Jai Si Si Radha Krishna Gopa Gopina Shama Kunda Radha Kunda Giri Gopa Dhan Ki Jai Si Braja Bhumi Vinda Vandam Ki Jai Matura Dham Ki Jai Si Navadvip Mayapur Dham Ki Jai Ganga Mai Ki Jai Yamuna Mai Ki Jai Tulsi Devi Ki Jai Bhakti Devi Ki Jai Si Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai Sankirtan Yagya Ki Jai Sama Beda Bhakta Binda Ki Jai Nitai Gaur Primanande All glories to the assembled devotees All glories to the assembled devotees All glories to the assembled devotees All glories, all glories, all glories to Sishi Guru and Sishi Gauranga Ma Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishna Putle Shimari Gopal Krishna Krishna Gamin Pada Shira Sakitin Pagrasha Bhitirja Nama Aung Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shimate Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Iti Namine Namaste Sarasvati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvisesa Sunyavadi Vasyata Desatarine Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Hare Krishna. So today we're reading from the Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 4, Chapter 31, Narada instructs the Prachetas. And sloka number 18. Is that says the 18, Prabhu? Please repeat after me. Tena ekam. Atmanam Asesha Dehinam Kalam Pradhanam Purusham Paresham Swatejasa Dwasta Guna Prabhaham Atmaika Bhavena Bajadvam Adha 
ಸ್ವಸ್ತಗುಣಪ್ರಭ ಆತ್ಮೈಕಬೇನ ಭಜದ್ಮಾಧ ತಿನೈಕ ಆತ್ಮನ ಕಾಲ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಪುರುಷ ಪರೇಶ ಸ್ವತೇಜಸ್ತಗುಣಪ್ರಭ ಆತ್ಮೈಕಬೇನ ಭಜದ್ಮಾಧ ತಿನೈಕ ಆತ್ಮನ ಅಶೇಷ ದೇಹಿ ಕಾಲ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಪುರುಷ ಪರೇಶ ಸ್ವತೇಜಸ್ತಗುಣಪ್ರಭ ಆತ್ಮೈಕಬೇನ ಪ್ರಜದ್ಮಾಧ ಕಾಲಾಂಪದಾನಂಪುರುಷಂಪರೇಶಸ್ತಗುಣಪ್ರಭೇನ ಭಜದ್ಮಾಧ ಆತ್ಮೈಕಬೇನ ಭಜದ್ ಮಾಧ tena therefore ekam one atmanam unto the supreme soul ashesha unlimited dehinam 
of the individual souls. Kalam, time, pradhanam, the material cause. Purusam, the Supreme Person. Paraisham, the transcendental controller. Swa, Swatejasa, by his spiritual energy. Dwasta, aloof. Guna Prabhaham, from material emanations. Atma, self. Eka Bhavena, accepting as qualitatively one. Bajadwam, engage in devotional service. Adha, directly. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Because the Supreme Lord is the cause of all causes, He is the super soul of all individual living entities. And He exists as both the remote and immediate cause. Since He is aloof from the material emanations, He is free from their interactions and is Lord of material nature. You should therefore engage in his devotional service, thinking yourself qualitatively one with him. Please repeat after me. Because the Supreme Lord is the cause of all causes, he is the super soul of all living individual living entities. And he exists as both the remote an immediate cause. Since he is aloof from the material emanations, he is free from their interactions and is Lord of material nature. You should therefore engage in his devotional service, thinking yourself qualitatively one with him. Purport. According to Vedic calculations, there are three causes of creation. Time, the ingredient, and the creator. Combined, these are called triyatatmaka, the three causes. Everything in this material world is created by these three causes. All of these causes are found in the personality of Godhead. As confirmed in Brahma Samhita, Sarva Karana, Karanam. Narad Muni therefore advises the Prachetas to worship the direct cause, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. As stated before, when the root of a tree is watered, all the parts are engaged or energized. According to the advice of Narad Muni, one should directly engage in devotional service. This will include all pious activity. Chaitanya Charitamrita states, Krishna Bhakti Kaila Sarva Karma. Kritahaya. When one worships the Supreme Lord Krishna in devotional service, one automatically performs all other pious activity. In this verse, the words Swa Tejasa Dwastaguna Prabhaham are very, insig very significant. The Supreme Personality of Godhead is never affected by the material qualities, although they all emanate from His spiritual energy. Those who are really conversant with His knowledge can utilize everything for the service of the Lord, because nothing in this material world is unconnected 
with the supreme personality of Godhead. Thus, in the purport, Bhaktivedanta purport, Canto 4, Chapter 31, Text 18, Narada instructs the Prachetas. Omagyananti mirandasya genangyana shalakaya chakshurum militam jena tasmai shi gurave namaha shri chaitanya manobistam stapitam yena bhutale swayam rupa kadamayam kadati swapadantikam Vandeham si guru si juta pada kamala si gurung baisnabam sya si rupam sagrajatan sahagana ragunatan bitam tam sajivam sadvetam sadvadutam parijana sahitam krishna chaitanya devam si radha krishna padan Sahagana Lalita Sibisakam Vitamsya He Krishna Karuna Sindho Dinabandho Jagatpate Gopesa Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vindavanispare Vishabhanu Sita Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha kalpata rubyascha kipa sindhu vyaevacha Patita nam pabane vyo vaisna bebyo namo namaha Jai si Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Si Advaita Gadadar Si Basadi Gaura Bhakta Binda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Tinaikam Atmanam Asisa Dehinam Kalam Pradhanam Purusam Paresam Sote Jasadvasta Guna Prabhaham Atmai Kababhena Bajadvam Madham So Narad Muni continues the explanation or trying to convince the prachetas after they perform their austerities uh, to conclude their activities in the practice of devotional service. The practice of devotional service is the conclusion of all one's activities uh, perform by performing karma, jnana, yoga, bhakti is the topmost. So here he is explaining, Narad Muni, about the nature of the Supreme Lord, how Supreme Lord is the Super soul of all individual living entities is Paramatma. Uh, is para sarvabhutanam ridese Arjuna tistati. He's present in everyone's heart. He knows the past, knows the present, and he knows the future. That means he knows even before we think what we're going to think. He knows what we're going to do even before we make plans he knows so the super soul is the cause of all causes he exists everywhere um, in every nook and corner of the creation that's why he is uh, abhigya he is fully cognizant he knows everything just like Prabhupada gave an example in the first canto. Uh, he's like an engineer. An engineer, he knows even the smallest nail where it's going to be uh, put in the construction. So as a super soul, uh, he maintains everyone. 
ನಿತ್ಯ ನಿಚ್ಚಾನಂ ಚೇತನಶ್ಚೇತನಾಂ ಏಕೋ ಬಹುನ ಯೋ ವಿದಾತಿ ಕಾಮನ್ ಅಮೋಂಗ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಪ್ಲೂರಲ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಎಂಟಿಟೀಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ಯುಲರ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಎಂಟಿಟಿ ಹೂ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಶೇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇನ್ ದ ಭಾಗವತ್ ಗೀತಾ ಐ ನೋ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಬಟ್ ನೋ ಒನ್ ನೋಸ್ ಮೀ ಇವನ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಶಿವ ಲೋಡ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಟಾಪ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ demigods they worship lord krishna they're not independent there's only one person who is completely independent that is the paramatma and he is not bound he is the creator he is the source of everything janmadi asayataha some scrupulous philosopher says well if he is the creator of everything someone may someone must have created him hmm? if he is a source he he creates everything someone may have created him as well but this is not so that's why he is god that's why krishna is god asamordha uh, no one is equal to him and no one is greater than him if someone says i am god but then he also came from somebody or someone then he is not god but of course for past times for his relationship to enhance his relationship with the living entities Uh, the jivas parts and parcels of the supreme lord mamai bamso jiva loke jiva bhuta sanatana he play the role of the son of mother yasoda and nanda maharaj so if he says i am god and uh, i also have a father and a mother that is possible in the past times but obviously mother yasoda also and nanda maharaj they are all created by the supreme lord so everything that we see in this material world and in the spiritual world both material maya jakshena prakriti suyate sachara charam he is the source of both the material and spiritual world and propad also confirmed here he uh, mentioned in the purport sarva karna karnam even lord brahma when he prayed at the dawn of creation um he says isvara parama krishna sachid ananda vigraha anadir adir govinda sarva karna karnam so Narad Muni is advising the prachetas to worship directly the supreme personality of godhead every actions that we do should be dovetailed in such a way to be meant for the pleasure of the supreme lord if one's action is meant to be for our own benefit then it will be the cause of our suffering but for the pleasure of the supreme lord everything that we do to please him to serve the supreme lord will be the cause of our happiness hmm. in the material world it doesn't make sense to be like if you serve someone uh you will be happy it doesn't make sense you serve someone because you want something in return to make you happy but in spiritual life in devotional service one perform one's activities for the pleasure of lord krishna but not expecting anything in return 
automatically Krishna will reciprocate and re will reward the devotees transcendental happiness. So for every activities that we perform, we should not expecting that, oh, what's in it for me? Then it becomes an action which is like a karma kanda. In the karma kanda section of the Vedas, they perform activities which they're expecting something. It's like even An ordinary householder, when they want blessings from a sadhu, they expect that the sadhu will bless them for their material prosperity. Devotees, when they ask blessings, when they pray to the Supreme Lord, they don't ask for material blessings. Hmm? Many devotees will ask us, Maharaj, please bless me so that I can do my service nicely. They don't ask, Maharaj, please bless me so that I can have a nice, my business will grow. They don't ask like that. So, indirectly, um, the process is that even if one performs karma kanda, process or jnana kanda process or yoga process, one should have bhakti in there. Then it will become successful. Others also think that, oh, if you do bhakti, you should also put karma in there, karma kanda or jnana kanda or yoga. Then bhakti will become successful. Mm -mm, no. No. It doesn't work like that. Everything will be supported if we become successful, if we perform bhakti, a devotional service. As uh, it was quoted also earlier, yata tarod mula nischanena, as one watered the root of the tree, automatically the the branches, the leaves and twigs, they all get energized, they all get nourished. So if we please the Supreme Lord, automatically we don't have to pay our debts. As in human form of life, we have so much debts to be paid. We owe the demigods, we owe our forefathers. Mm. We, owe, we owe the sadhus, the sages. Mm, for them to write the Vedas so that we can understand or translate. But if we serve the Supreme Lord, then automatically we don't owe anybody. Uh, so one should directly engage in devotional service. This is the advice of Narad Muni. So right now, we're not really doing devotional service yet because one's performance of devotional service is only after liberation. What liberation means? That means he is free from the cycle of repeated birth and death. That means he is already in the Brahma Bhuta platform. Hmm? Brahma Bhuta Pasanatma Nasochati Nakanshati Sama Sarbe Subhute Su Mad Bhaktim Labati Param. Right now we still have many hunkerings. That, that's, hunkerings means many desires materially, lusty desires. Ultimately, it is explained in the Sastra, that lusty desire is not only sex desire. Lusty desire also means one's maintaining one's position or prestige. Hmm? Due to false ego, we want to maintain our identity.
which is the most difficult to give up. I'm a man, I'm a woman, I am this, I am that, I belong to this place, these are my family, these are all attachments. So, when only one come to the conclusion that worship of the Supreme Lord Krishna in devotional service is the topmost, then automatically, automatically his life becomes auspicious. And Prabhupada quoted this verse, which is uh, very significant. Sote jasa dwasta guna prabaham. Sote jasa, by his spiritual energy, he performed all of this uh, creation or this different uh, manifestation of the material energy, but he is aloof. He is not bound. Only the Supreme Lord can do this. He is not bound. He cannot be bound. He can be bound by the love of his devotees. But he cannot be under the modes of material nature like us. Conditioned souls are bound by the modes of material nature, goodness, passion, and ignorance, which is compared to like a rope. In the material world, good is not good enough. But Prabhupada says, in order to go beyond the modes of material nature, at least one should be in the mode of goodness. This is one of the qualities of a brahmana. Mode of goodness, cleanliness, truthfulness, mercy, honesty, cultivating knowledge. This is all in the mode of goodness. Not lazy. That is a mode of ignorance. Hmm? So, um, the Supreme Lord is never affected by the material qualities, although they are all emanate from his spiritual energy. So the foolish philosophers, again, they uh, criticize or they um, say that when Krishna comes, abhajanantimam buddha manusitanum asrita. When he descends, these so-called jnanis or speculators, they say, oh, he also become like us. And Prabhupada gave an example. It's like the prisoners, they're in jail. And when the governor comes in, they think that, oh, he becomes like a prisoner like us. Hmm? No. Prabhupada gave an example again, just like a rainbow. Have you seen the rainbow? Uh, those who doesn't know what, what is a rainbow, they look very beautiful. They speculated that the rainbow is being held by two in two points, from other point to the other point. That's why there is a bow like that. But no, there is no such thing as attachment. Nothing is holding those two things from one end to the other end. So similarly, Krishna is like that. Uh, he's not bound. He's only bound by the love of his devotees. And sometimes he subjugate himself. He becomes, seemingly become less. But it's not, because this is the only way how the reciprocation between uh, his devotees and the Supreme Lord becomes more enhanced. So, it says here, that those who are really conversant with this knowledge can utilize everything for the service of the Lord. That's why the Bhagavad Gita is spoken for the benefit of humankind. It's been spoken to the sun god, Bibasban, to his son, Ix, uh, Manu, then to Ixbaku, 
Mm. Then it goes on uh, through disciplic succession and it has to be repeated again and again, even 5,000 years ago, for the benefit of everyone, especially in Kali Yuga, where it's so dull, very difficult to remember things. But if we read Bhagavad Gita every day and follow in the footsteps of Arjuna, as Prabhupada says, I wrote these books not just for distribution. Hmm? This month is the month of uh, book distribution, Prabhupada's book distribution marathon. I wrote these books for my disciples, for them to read. What is the use if you just keep distributing these books and somebody asks, uh, do you read these books? Um, not really. We just distribute them. <laughs> How is that? How are you going to be able to convince that person to, to take the book and to read the book? I remember when we used to do traveling Sankirtan. We would read Prabhupada's books every day before we go out. Then we're so much surcharged, energized, we're so much enthusiastic in giving the knowledge. And sometimes it will just repeat what we've read to the person. Hmm? If you're just good in distributing and then you don't cultivate this knowledge and apply it to yourself, only after some time you will be able to distribute them, then after that, no more. And Prabhupada says also about his books, he said, I wrote these books to convince you to chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. I wrote these books so that whoever will read them it will be concluded that, yes, I will chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. That doesn't mean, though, that after chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, you don't read the books anymore. <laughs> no, you will continue reading them and you will relish much more. And that's why Srila Prabhupada says, uh, uh, along with chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, one should also read. Bhagavad Gita or Srimad Bhagavatam. It's part of the diet. The diet will be complete. And then we'll be able to convince, we'll be able to be convinced that yes, Krishna is the Supreme Lord, I am His servant, and I am meant to serve Him. And then we'll be able to understand the nature of the Supreme Lord. The more we be able to understand the Supreme Lord, the more we become attached to Him. It's like the more you want to know somebody, the more you, you, you learn some about that personality, uh, you become closer and closer and closer. Of course, it is not possible to completely know Krishna because He's always expanding. Every moment, His opulence is, is expanding. His beauty is always expanding. His strength is always expanding. His wealth or opulence is always expanding. His knowledge is always expanding. His fame is always expanding. His renunciation is always expanding. So it's not possible to know Him. But if we can understand a little bit or know a little bit, that is enough and be able to convince. So, Narad Muni is uh, convincing here the Prachetas about the Supreme Absolute Truth and eventually when they will beget a child, then they will give up uh, their family attachment he will bear one child in their family life. 
Daksha, which later on will be, Daksha means expert, um, is expert in propagating or making the population grow. So later on that will, that will uh, happen. Hare Krishna. So we'll stop here. Any comments or question from our Pandit Ji? Thank you. Very nice lecture. Here the word is Ten Ek Atmanam. So the Mayavadis catch these words. Ek Atmanam. Only one soul. So Naraji is saying, Ases Dehinam. All the living entities, only one soul is there. The last line also, e atma ek bhavin, only one soul. So they will say that all the living entities are false, only one soul is there. Mm -mm. <laughs> so they say like this. And, uh, yes. So Prabhupada is describing that uh, um, ek atma is there and anek atmas are also, also there. And just like the, um, the root of the tree uh, is the atma or soul of all the branches. So this uh, root of the tree is also real and branches are uh, also real. But the Mayavadis say, no, branches are false, only root is real. Mm -hmm. so, so Prabhupada describes like this. So these Prabhupada books are very, very necessary to be distributed. Otherwise, this Mayavad is expanding as uh, everywhere. <laughs> they are the, uh, preaching this wrong philosophy. Yes. Haribo. Yeah, their philosophy is everything is one, which is, is not, it's, there's so much fallacy in that philosophy. If everything is one, so give me your money, everything is one, right? Mm -hmm. Mike. Krishna is the reservoir of all, he's the enjoyer of all sacrifices. Mm -hmm. But then there are many people who, who act, who sacrifice something or the other, but they do it for their own selves. Yeah, they want, this is the tendency, they want something always material benefit. So then how does, how will Krishna be enjoying that sacrifice because that is not being done for him, it's being done for the self. Or it's not really sacrifice. Okay. The sacrifice was that yajna tat karma no nyatra loka yam karma bandana. All sacrifices must be performed for him. So if you're actually, all of our activities should be a sacrifice because if it's for the pleasure of Krishna, it is a sacrifice. Because most of the times, we want just to enjoy, which is not a sacrifice. If you plan your activities in such a way that it is meant for Krishna's pleasure, that is sacrifice. It's like chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is the greatest sacrifice. It's the greatest austerity. The materialists also, in such a way, they do ex austerity or sacrifice, but it's not real sacrifice because they want material enjoyment. For Krishna's pleasure, it is sacrifice. For yourself, misery. The sacrifice that you perform for Krishna will be the source of your happiness. Even though you don't ask for it, automatically it is being given to you. That is the, that is the uh, result of your sacrifice for Krishna. The result of your sacrifice for yourself is a source of your miseries. It's not for your pleasure. You think, oh, I'm, Prabhu, I'm sacrificing. How come I'm not happy? Because you want something in return. Right? But if you want only for Krishna, you don't have to look for happiness. Automatically, happiness will come. That is the pleasure. Even uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, uh, uh, 
all the sufferings and miseries in the process of devotional service is the source of his ecstasy. Now, it's difficult to understand this. You have to come to that level, actually, that whatever you do is meant for Krishna, for Guru, for the Vaisnavas. Then, difficulties, uh, hurdles, obstacles may come, but these challenges become your ecstasy. Because this is the source of your happiness. Why do you think we keep going the same thing again and again every day? Hmm? Now the weather is getting colder and colder. It's getting more difficult. Hmm? The mind is keeping us so many obstacles. Oh, no, no. I'm not going to get up. I'm just going to go and sleep. You know? No, we still, we still get up. This austerity, this sacrifice that we do, is for Krishna's pleasure. If you don't come for Mangalarti, Krishna will be looking for you. <laughs> he will say, uh oh, where is my bhakta? He's not here. Mm -mm. You understand? Okay, we'll stop here. Srila Prabhupada Ki! Nitai Gaur Premanande! Hari Hari